Yeah. He's performing this weekend yes. at the La Jolla Comedy <laughs> Store. I gotta get that out of the way because I want to okay. dive right Great. in Let's to, to what I really want to talk about. Let's dive in. Theo, <laughs> I'm 39 years old. In two weeks, I'm going to be 40 years old. I've seen every single season of Road Rules and, and, and Real World and the challenges. It's out there. It's out there. It's out there. It's out there right now. Is that okay? Is that weird? Because I, mean, I, I told that to the Miz, and the Miz was like, dude, I'm not ever talking to you again. <laughs> it's something. something. I'd call it a gateway to homosexuality. See, that's what I I understand that, and I understand that. But, and I don't mean it in a bad way. Married, though. But hey, so, okay, you got I'm that. I'm good, right? Word. You're good. Okay, well, you're totally good. Right. So, do what dude, you want to do. I know. I do what I want to do. yourself, live your life. I think it's awesome that you're a stand-up comedian. Though. Thanks, man. You know, and, yeah. and you're blowing up, dude. You're all over the place. You were on, uh, you know, uh, Last Comic Standing back in the day. Last Comic Standing with the highest rated half-hour special last year on Comedy Central. Oh, dude. Pretty great. great. That's huge. So that's good. My and buddy then, uh, Mel Hall has been talking about you. So yeah, Mel's you know, a great guy. You're killing it. Mel's this a funny is great, dude. man. Now you're headlining at the La Jolla Comedy Store. We're having fun down there, man. That's it's great. Be yeah. That's great. So, all right, let's talk. Just so you for, like the challenge? Let's talk for a second about the challenges yeah, and road rules that. and all that stuff. <laughs> Ask what you like. Okay. He speaks uh -huh. for himself. He's also speaking for me. My name's Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. First okay. of all, Ashley also a fan <laughs> of of the Real World and all those shows. Um, okay. Yeah. He immediately ran in here and no, said, "You're no. gorgeous." <laughs> Oh my God, I'm not a bad looking guy. Yeah, okay. Neil's a good looking dude. Oh my God. I'm, a, I'm a healthy, I'm an 7.5. Okay. Five. Five. Yeah, really? you're higher nice. than that. Yeah. 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 I kind of have that Tom Brady meets Shrek look. Dude, <laughs> you do kind of look like Tom Brady. I don't know about Shrek, but I mean, you do have a little bit of Brady in you, which is weird because we have a guy named Boston Robbins. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Let's get yeah. some pictures and let's say I'm with Tom Brady. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice. I mean, people, I mean nobody's going to believe you. <laughs> And then they're going to be like, wow, this guy's about to get taken yeah. advantage of. <laughs> Give him your that social bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's where you, uh, you know, I don't want to say that's where you got your start, but I mean, well, that's was, kind of, you it, know. Yeah, it happened, man. I was walking across college campus, and I was very depressed, actually. I was going to school, and then... Um, and they had auditions. On Why campus. were you depressed? I was just, I don't know. Floundering in life, just kind life, of thing. Yes. Yeah. And then, uh, and then they had auditions, and I went in, and then, you know, six months later, I was, I was a part of this program. It was, you know, so it was pretty crazy. Right. Which it was wasn't road a life rules. goal. It was just, it just kind of happened. Yeah. Which was uh, road rules. Which, which was road was, rules. In case people don't know, road rules is a little different than real world. What road rules used to be was they get the same thing, same concept. Mm -hmm. They get a bunch of people mm -hmm. together, I but they would make them like basically travel. <laughs> Theo. Travel in an RV. Just, yeah, Theo. Just says, Theo. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you're putting that much creamer in your coffee, it's not even that much coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is, at that point, it's a gateway drug. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like a hint You're of really coffee that. with her creamer. Yeah. Yeah, uh, actually. Dude, you could uh, definitely be cooking that. Yeah. I would walk her white that in her paint and I don't know. Know. I don't know what her deal is. Yeah. Yeah. You're making glasses out of the cups, That's what her deal is, boy. Yeah. yeah. Babies so, are glass I, 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 She does this all morning long, too. I bet she does. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so that's what road rules is. You know, they put them in an RV, and you guys went, basically went around the country, and you yeah. had to live together. And you know, it's the same concept as real world, but just a little different. And so that's that's what show you were on. Yes. Did you did you enjoy your time when you were doing it, or was it just weird, or what was the deal? I mean, it was definitely strange. I mean, I'm from Louisiana. I hadn't traveled very much, so it was a little bit. It was interesting just to get out and see, like you know. America, yeah. the universe. Sure. <laughs> and I guess it was, I didn't have a driver's license. You oh. didn't? I just didn't have one. I didn't have a car or anything at that point. How old were you when you were uh, on the show? I was 19. Okay. Uh -huh. But I was raised pretty much horseback and then just hitching rides yeah. with friends. Oh, my yeah. God. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. so I didn't have a, a, a license, so I just spent most of my time sleeping, basically, in a camper. Yeah, so, I mean, so that you didn't have to take a turn at the wheel. No, nice. you just awesome. sleep, yeah. just relax. So you just got to wherever you were going to go and you could do food, your stuff. Eat food, Yeah, nice. <laughs> do the other things you do when you're not driving. Sure. Yeah. That sounds like a good time. On a road trip. Yeah. Uh, but the, yeah, yeah. one of the more interesting parts I found was um, when we would stop somewhere, if we had a chance to go out, like, on the town or yeah. whatever, if you like met, like if you wanted to like try to bring a chick home, you couldn't because we would always stay at a, cam at a camper campground, like a oh, okay. campground. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you cannot get a chick back to oh, no. a campground. No. no. That's if creepy. you do, she is down, definitely down to hook down up. Down. Or down to be murdered. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, like how do yeah, how can you imagine how that works? Like you're like, oh yeah, you know, you want to come back where I'm just staying at this campground over yeah. here with six other people. Uh, It'll be fine. Yeah, you, well, sweetie, I'll be fine. We'll just mess around. Now there's gonna be cameras everywhere, but don't <laughs> yeah. let that bother you. I mean, that's fine. That's right? Fine. Yeah, that'd be tough. Yeah. That'd be yeah, that tough part was cool. weird. Yeah, a little bit. That part was weird. And then you go on to do these, you know, real world road rules challenges mm -hmm. where they kind of it's like these, you know, all star versions and they make them do like these really uh, crazy stunts and stuff like that, where you guys compete against each other. Um, that's one of the things that you know. Another things I talked to the Miz about. And yeah, Miz I said, love the Miz. Mike and I get along really well. Yeah, actually, still, yeah and he was like, that. you know, he's like, dude, those challenges are no joke. Like, yeah. I mean, you got to really, so heavy. you got to yeah. really come uh, prepared, or they otherwise. Do. That's why they all come so fit. Well, this, like Theo, this, right? They, they, they definitely come pretty fit. I actually felt like it's, a lot of kids started to use roids on them. No. At a certain point. Really? So who? I just couldn't compete. Drop I don't know who. I mean, right? I do Kenny. not know who. Totally but I'm totally <laughs> Oh my God, serious. Wes. <laughs> And I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not like, you know, yeah, yeah. To call. I'm just saying that I think there, yeah, there are some, Eric. there were some, Eric. <laughs> sorry, that's a good Eric, Eric Neese? Big, no, the big guy, Redhead. big, oh, big, big, easy. big, big, easy. Easy. Yeah. Uh, big, easy. I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't see him on steroids. <laughs> no, he's just too, he's too big. He's already, yeah, he's already <laughs> so big. Right, right. If you're, yeah. If you're on steroids, wow. he would be like. Yeah, that'd be too much. Yeah, so so that's when you're like, I'm retiring from these challenges. And I was just getting, I, I just didn't feel any connection for it in my heart at all. Like, I didn't yeah. want really? to like, be involved. Yeah, I, didn't, I loved it. It was fun. I loved the games and stuff, but I just got, I mean, it was like spring break all well, the time. Well, the drama right. at the house yeah. would get crazy. I mean. Yeah, and when girls started fighting, like beating girls, I was like, I just don't want to be. You're all grown up now. Yeah. yeah, like I couldn't walk into a business meeting years later. I was thinking, and they're like, well, what do you have to, you know? And I was like, I was there when so and so beat that yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's your career highlight. Like, yeah. No, uh -huh. I think, moving on. So it just got tacky to me. Yeah, oh, one of the cool. things that I found interesting about you, Theo, is that you created something. You created something called Crank Text. Yeah. Now, if you don't know what Crank Text are, it's like crank phone calls, uh -huh. but you do it through text. So Theo did this whole thing where he's texting random numbers oh. and just starting conversations, oh, that's really and then he funny. posts them on the website cranktext.com, right? Yeah. Really. And funny. you created this. I did actually. I mean, I'm not even. I mean, I definitely created this. I got a text one day from this lady named Wanda, right? Or this like this. I got a text from the wrong from a wrong number, right? And it was out of Chicago, Chicago based, and uh, it said, "Hey, it's Wanda." Um, and I didn't recognize that. I was like, Wanda who? And yeah. she was like, duh, Wanda, your cousin. And I don't even have any cousins, actually. Yeah. I have zero cousins. Wait, how could that be? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, just nobody, you know, my okay. parents were just low, they came from very lonely, lonely. Okay. And, uh, but I wrote back, I was like, what's up, shawty? Oh, no, and, uh, here we go. She, I texted her for six months. Oh, shut she, up! Her six months? Oh, oh, so you were catfishing. Oh, I was catfishing, baby. Nice. And, uh, and I actually have a god nephew now named Damari. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's two years old in oh, May. That's so That's special. hilarious. Yeah, I'm excited. That's but since then, I, so, then, since then, I just started texting like total strangers. Like I would text. I've texted over thirty thousand numbers on this phone. Completely. Oh, dude! I swear to God, I've te I'll text like five hundred people. I'm like, hey, it's Allison. This is my new number. <laughs> Wow. So then if you get five yes. people yes. right back, like, Allison Sharp, Allison King, Allison Sharp. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yes, yeah. how are you? What's right. going on? Then you become this person to yeah. them that yeah. they haven't heard from in a while. Oh, no. So then you can create anything going on in your world. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're doping. You're, you know, you got issues with your children. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, you, you got to get out weird. of the country. Yeah. You know, you need them to watch your animals. Yeah. You know, like anything. Oh, my God. It's, it's really amazing. Oh, it's pretty it's, wild. It is. It that. is. I've been in some crazy instances like where stuff gets pretty twisted and sick. Oh, I can believe, I believe that. I, I read a few of them, and I saw you like you're getting in fights with people, no. where it gets creepy sometimes. I mean, it what's, gets dark. What's I mean. the wildest one that you've done? Let me think. The um, the wildest one. Where even you were like, I okay. Thought I, was, I kept texting this random dude. I didn't know it was. I mean, you don't know who you're getting, so right. you're just going out into the world right. and uh, this one dude I told him I was babysitting right so I kept sending him pictures of my sister's kids my sister got two beautiful little girls so like you know, I'll just I'll pull pictures of them so off her Facebook and stuff I'm like sure. yeah, the girls are just eating cookies and fighting with the dolls <laughs> but this dude typical any dude was just down to bang right? yeah, yeah. so he just kept sending me pictures of him just naked photos of it right? so here I am texting him back like oh you know here's what the kids are up to it's getting late you know, and then he would send right back with a with a picture of his dog. No! 
So it was just this, such a weird dichotomy. Where it's yeah. Like, yeah, me and the kids are reading a book. You know, and like, here's my dog. You know, not reading a book. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's so that was pretty bizarre as far as like just a, 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 a like a, a two opposite yeah. of the spectrum. But I would text a lot of people and be like, hey, uh, you know, we got to bill you for these donuts you bought from us. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you bought three dozen donuts. So I hit up people in Mississippi and. Uh, they get angry, man, for baked goods they didn't buy. Uh, <laughs> they I bet. And people will call me and leave voicemails, and I don't have an outgoing voicemail. And so then I'll take the voicemails <laughs> and I'll put them on the website as oh, well. Oh, right. So on. a lot of them have voicemails embedded into them. You can listen to what these people what? are. It's a great, it's a great concept. I'm on it right now. This is an epic Yeah. It's Thanks brilliant. Com, yeah. It's brilliant. Dude, I had a guy oh that God. wanted to buy that was that was scheduled to meet up to buy guns and grenades. Oh, oh my, my God! In Indiana, this dude at a schoolyard we were meeting. Okay, oh, really? Okay. When I sell firearms, I meet at schoolyards. Well, yeah, it makes, it makes the most sense. Yeah. But there's actually a couple conversations where I was meeting people at schoolyards, and you'll, they'll call and be like, "Hey, man, I'm here. I'm out here at Oakwood. You know, where are you?" You know, and then it just, oh, but it's all sorry. part of this big thing. You right. know, I had this guy call and say he wasn't a cop, he wasn't going to be wearing a wire. Oh, jeez. Like, uh, yeah, oh, okay. Dude. Now, do you, uh, and then, do, where does it go from here? Like, where do you plan to take this? Uh, well, I mean, we're working right now with a production company to create a show for it, so that's really good. So, oh, cool. I mean, if that happens, it'd be cool, it'd be fun. If not, it's just been, you know, hey, something you, interesting. You got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of, a lot of irons in the fire. Is that a thing? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and you got some fun things going on. Like you're on Yahoo, right? Yeah, I work for Yahoo. Yahoo every day. It's just called a show called Prime Time in No Time. You can watch it. It's the most watched show in the history of the internet, actually. That's yeah. crazy because it's every day, right? Before me, yeah, it's every. It's five days a week, Sunday through Thursday. Nice. And we just cover like you guys are talking about reality TV. Right, right. We cover like we watch all the reality shows at night, and then we make a video for them for the morning. Oh, That's that awesome. So fun. That's awesome. Yeah. It's fun, man, because you get to interview some of these guys. Like actually, Dog the Bounty Hunter just flaked on us. So if you oh. listen to the radio. F dog and no, yeah. really? Oh. He's been on our show a few times. He seems like a cool guy. I don't know. No, he's he seems like a cool you? racist. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a whole different thing. I'm a functioning racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is a functioning racist? <laughs> uh, it's what I am according to my race sponsor. Oh, right. I, I understand now. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. So, with you being as busy as you are, you got time for personal life? I mean, I mean, I'm asking yeah, this basically just chasing these hoes. Yeah, no offense. Up there. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, right, right. But uh, that's it. You know, just trying to meet girls, I guess. I mean, so you're single. Single. Nice. Look for the, I met this one girl on the internet, you know, and uh, so I was like, oh, you know, I hit her up. I'm like, let's meet for coffee. You know? Okay. She writes back. She's like, coffee's boring. Didn't you read my profile? She said, didn't you read my profile? I'm adventurous. I want to go skydiving on our first date. What? Well, I don't even know you. Yeah. You know? yeah. Right. Like nowhere in my budget is there money for taking unknown bras skydiving. <laughs> yeah, thank you. you know, right? That is not it. Like you'll you know? spring for the four bucks for oh, coffee, yeah. right? But I mean, yeah, look, you yeah, know, that's like it. You know, I'll lift you up in the air and set you down real fast. <laughs> you know, like a cheap skydiving. Yeah. But maybe maybe you fourth run. date, you yeah. know, you can look into that. I'm not real skydiving. Right, no way. Wow. Wow. So I, right back, I said, I live on the fourth floor of my building. I said, well, if you want you come over, I'll throw you off this thing. I'm a windbreaker. In a windbreaker. That's your work. That's your work. That was it. So oh, I don't know. No. That's oh, great, man. Girls. When do you know when you met the girl? When do you know you met? Uh, you know what? It was weird because, you know, I had been a bit of a dirtbag, you know, for a little while. Yeah. You know, and then I met this one girl, <laughs> and I'm like, She's she's way different. Like there's something about her. Like she's way too good for me. Right. You know. And for really? and I yeah. came in here and yeah. I was he telling these anything. people, I go, dude, I met my wife. Yeah. No way. Yeah. And so well, you what just, did you guys say when he said that? Well, I said like, I gotta meet her. When really? I met her that, that next week. And they were like, yeah, she and is too I good for you. <laughs> did you believe him? Uh, well, um, listen, I said, you you got to catch, run with it. Yeah. Like, she's amazing. Yeah. yeah. yeah I was plus. a scoundrel, so for me to be like, all right, you know, I'm yeah. kind of into yeah. the yeah. point. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. It's not yeah. like he would say that to us all the time. So when he no. finally said it, it was like, dang, this is different. He never said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, if I can score this girl, then I'd be stupid to, like, screw that up. So right. that was kind of that mentality. Right. Well, that's nice. That's a nice feeling. Is it still, you guys think it'll be, you think you're going to stay in it for the long haul? Well, I mean, I got two kids now with her, so I better. I mean, I guess that's it doesn't matter yeah. in this day and age. It doesn't, yeah, I would say it doesn't matter as much as it used to. Right, right, right. two young workers. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. Yes. Pretty much, yeah. It's so like, I, I, yes. like, I gotta get them some skill sets or something, you know? Dude, yeah. get them fast, right. man. Get them while they're in, while the fingers are nimble. Yeah, that's it, man. I'm gonna teach my son how to be a left-handed reliever, you know? I mean, he would work forever. Go. For... 
For baseball. Oh. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, what did you think that meant? I thought you meant for Like, fluffer? Like, no. Oh, that might be a good one. Now they have right handed and left handed in four. My of buddy was a reliever on a set. Hey, now. Uh, really? really? That's a real yeah. job. That's a, for sure. That's a real job. What? Yeah. That's a I knew Fluffer was a real job. In I didn't this, know. In this, in this economy, I oh, think yeah. you're going to take what you You got a beginner and you got an ender. What? Right. See? I oh, have yeah. no idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, whatever. Nice. If, that, if it pays him well, I guess. Uh, I mean, did I your know. buddy get paid well? I, I mean, he wears pretty cheap shit. Yeah. So I guess. Not that that matters. He did it for the purpose. Yeah, he might. Yeah. Hey man, you gotta go see Theo this weekend. He's performing at the Loja Comedy Store. Yes. He's performing tonight, tomorrow night, eight and ten thirty. And we got tickets to give away. Hello. We got five pairs of tickets to give away. So give us a call right now. You gotta be twenty one or older. Don't be a clown. Five seven zero one zero five three. Because there's drinking going on, right, Theo? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta be at least twenty one. Now you can just have turned twenty one. That's fine. there you go. <laughs> That's a good night. Oh, wait a minute. And if you got boobs, it's cool too. Yeah. Right? In the legal lines. <laughs> the legal lines. Yeah, if you're super duper hot and you're like just. Right? Like, yeah, come on down. If you like me, new store. male friends. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to audition to be our new left-handed reliever. There you go. There you go. 570-1053. Call right now. Hey, Theo, great meeting you, man. You too, man. Thank you so Anytime much. Anytime you're in town, come on in, man. I'm going to do that. Right on.